Hello there, this is a little bit different, isn't it? Um, I thought I'd do a different video today, and today we're going to be playing some Football Manager, if it appears on screen right now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to play through Aston Villa, I'm going to try and be the best Football Manager that we can have right now, and yeah, just provide something a little bit different on the channel, and hopefully you're going to enjoy this series. So if you are going to enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on new content or new Football Manager videos. And um, yeah, let's get started. So as you can see here, we're just on the homepage. I have created myself. I do look like an exact replica. We're going to go on to the career. We're going to choose Aston Villa. Obviously, we're going to go for a quick start. Now, just before we do start, I am going to say I am not the best at Football Manager. I'll admit that I am as... A lot of people like to say I'm a virgin at this. If you want to give that, go at it. But yeah, I'm not the best at this, but hopefully we can. you can join me on this journey and we'll try and become the better manager. So whilst we just wait for this to load, um, you know, I want to make more of these videos, obviously, so please leave it in the comments down below if you would like to see um, a bit more of a series on Football Manager. You know, it's just a little bit something to do. We could also do a, you know, managing the worst team in English football and trying to take them to from the bottom to the top, so to the Premier League. We can try and do that if you'd like. But, um, yeah, just leave in the comments down below what you want to see from us in the coming weeks now. Obviously, um, as we're recording this, Nathan did just upload a video on Jack Grealish to Man United, so check that out. That'll be in the, uh, in the description or at the end of the video, um, so you can check that out. But... Yeah, just kind of give us give us some ideas that you want to see us. Could be a challenge video, could be something completely unrelated to Villa, could be just more Villa related news or videos. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for that. Just wait for this to load. How's your week been? Is your week been alright? We just got into lockdown as we we're recording this. Um, yeah, the UK's on lockdown, so we're now stuck inside. Um, you know, if something is good for me, I don't quite enjoy it. I'd like to be outside a bit more, but here's how it is. Can't fight big Boris Bob. Um, but yeah, the game's over now, so we're going to carry on. We're going to use my profile managerial style. I'm going to try and go for a bit more than a... Um, more coaching attributes, so I'm going to go for more attacking. I'm going to reduce one point from the defending and put that onto attacking. Um, we're going to take off a point from working with youngsters and give that to the mental. And we're going to confirm with that. Yes, we'll start playing. Exciting, isn't it? Aston Villa have today confirmed the appointment of Benjamin Smith as the new club's manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football as the 26-year-old who recently spent time away from club football and he is sure to be faced with plenty of questions as he faces the media for the first time at Villa Park. Smith has put pen to paper on a two-year deal worth 40 k per week. I wish I was earning that money. And I'll be replacing the previous manager in Dean Smith. I do like the reputation of a survival specialist, which, given the club's ambitions, you know, could create an intriguing dynamic as we intend to retain our place in the Premier League. So, obviously, we've got here what the chairman, Christian Puzzler, would like to see us achieve this season. We've got the reputation here, three and a quarter stars. Would have liked it to be better. In terms of the media, we are predicted to finish 18th, which is in the relegation zone. We've got the director of football, Jesus Garcia Pichard, or Suzer. We've got our assistant manager, John Terry. We've got the club history here. We've got last season's, um, you know, final standings. And then we've got the club background here. Just going about when we were founded, you know, our academy and our stadium. And then some of the highlights included the 1982 European Cup win. So if we continue on now, obviously we've got the team here. I have tried to get this as up to date as possible. So we do have kits. I did bring in some photos, but unfortunately it doesn't look like they've worked. But as we can see, we've got the players that have been brought in and sent out on loan or transfers. We've obviously got football managers um, preferred team here. This will definitely be changed around, so it suits my style. We've obviously got the club visions here. I'm going to really leave this and just continue on. Well, I can't even change it anyway, but these are basically what we want to achieve from this season. 
So we've got signing some players on a profit. We'll work within the budget. They want us to finish mid-table in the Prem, get fifth round minimum in FA Cup, fourth round minimum in the Carabao Cup. And by, yeah, that's for the end of the season. Then by next season, we want to be doing much better. So let's continue on. Obviously, we've got induction schedules. Um, don't really need these as much. I already know what we're doing. We can just wing it as we can. So we'll just carry on with this. We've obviously got arrangements to make. So we'll do that. Just make a save. So I think today, for this episode, we'll just try and get it to our first match. We'll play through that, make up a team, do all this stuff, and then we'll end it there. And we'll hopefully carry this on another day. So, yep. I'm just going to wait for this to save. Um... Ba, 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 ba. Yep, here we go. So we've got, obviously, Smith takes the hot seat here. We are taking that uh, position off Dean. We've got our indu tactics induction here. I already know what to do. So we're going to go on to this. And we're going to make up... We're going to make our style. So for me, I like to play with the Jijen press. This means we're going to win back possession and bring in some high-intensity running, which... I know there's counter attack on here, but it's it's basically just like counter attack essentially, just keeping the ball, but then managing to pass it through and pass it onto the midfield. So we're going to go with this. Obviously, it gives you an example of what to expect when you watch it in the match. We're going to choose this formation. Um, I don't really like these formations. I'm going to go with a four-five-one um, if it gives me the option. Uh, four, five, one. Yep, four, five, one. We're gonna go with that. As we've said in, um, you know, t best 11s video, I said my preferred formation for this team is a four, five, one. So we're gonna go with that. So we're gonna start to choose our players. If I can find the players, we're gonna go with. See, now we've got everyone here as um. You know, currently fit. There's no injuries, so Tom Eaton would be injured. Jed Steer would be injured. So for me, I'm going to go with Tom Heaton in goal. In my... Uh, I'm going to decide which switch. On the left here, we're going to go with Matt Target. On the right here... Go away. On the right... Left here, sorry. We're going to go with Bjorn Engels. On the right, I'm going to go with Tyro Mings. And then on the left... No, on the right, sorry, we're going to go with Freddie Gilbert. Um, oh, I want to move this midfield around. They're very stinky. Just move these two midfielders up. So I can play a bit more. Like four, five, four. So in the defensive role, I'm going to be playing Douglas Louise. On the wide right, I'm going to be playing... Um, Play Ogazi on the right, and on the left we'll play Trezeguet. Who is, as we're reporting, as we're making this video, it's reported to be on a move to Basintas, so we could make a transfer update video if you'd like to see that. Just accidentally gone on to Trezeguet there, who cares? He is currently away on holiday, unfortunately, so for now I'm actually going to have to play Jota there instead. On the left I'm going to play Jack Grish in that wider attacking midfielder role. On the right I'm going to be playing John Emigin. And obviously up front, I'm going to be playing... Oh, I can't play Samata. It's a big shame. But we do have Wesley, so I'll play Wesley. And then obviously substitutes, I'm going to go with... Go Pepe Reina, because we have to choose him. I'm going to go with Courtney House. I'm going to go... What does that mean? Transfer listed, who cares? Go with Neil Taylor, just so we have a fullback on the wider wider position. Um, go Connor Hurahan. We'll go... We'll go Danny Drinkwater. He's a lovely man. We'll go with... Oh, Jota's already playing. We need someone wide, really. But we don't have anyone because everyone's on holiday. If I'm going to pitch Trezor again, then I'm going to pick Bastard on that final roll. So hopefully they'll come back for our first match. That's going to be our tactics there. Gone with a 4 5 1. I know it's got 4 3 3, but I prefer the 4 5 1. 
So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you like that formation or if you want me to change it. I wanted to draw with you that Jack Grealish and John McGinn have a strong partnership and play well together in central midfield. Well, I have done that. may not be as central as they'd like, but it's still in the midfield together. So we're going to move on to the inbox. Uh, obviously, we've got the club visions here. Just going to accept all these because it really doesn't matter. We've got pre-season camp. John C John's already done that. Uh, just, just noticing back who's coming back to the team. We've got squad selection roles. Already, I believe I've already done that. Yes, I've already done that. We've obviously got the transfer window being open, and we've got, um, you know, we've got some information about who we should, what should be done in the club. So that's all fine. I'm going to carry on and hopefully try and get this to um, a first match, which is, I believe is a training match. So we go to our social feed here. Obviously, this is just where the game like still update us with some in-game information try and make it as realistic as you would get in the real football so as you can see we're on the home page here and tomorrow we have got the aston villa versus under 23 of aston villa match so we're gonna try and hopefully go on to that um might look into transfers actually might just do that right now uh jaden begins he's a current youngster in our under 18 squad um he's now qualified Homegrown player, he's just showing us what he can do. Yeah, we've got a code of conduct. Um, yeah, this is obviously so when players you know miss out on training or they've gone out or they get bookings, whatever, you can set what fines you want, what you want to give them. Just gonna go with these, doesn't really matter as much. I'm not really focused on it. Can see how much of a noob I am at this game. Um, just gonna go on to transfers just really quick. I'm gonna see if they've got striker here. Not really interested as them. Um, how do I search for play? I need search players. I want to want to try and bring in another wing. I want to try and bring in um, Ben Rama on this window. So I'm going to hopefully um, just look for them really. Ben Rama. Sorry if I can't spell you know. Side, side, and there we go. Now, hopefully, he's going to give me the option to choose him. Yep. Okay. Can I please have Sibai Ryan Rama? Cameron Wilson. Cameron Wilson. Are you mad, Cameron Wilson? We've got Nazaru, we've got he's showing me a lot of wingers here similar, but I just want Saiben Rama. There we are. So we've got they've got his valuation, they've got his goals, they've got a bit of his biography, and they've got what he can offer to this team. So I'm just actually gonna um, I'm gonna add this to the short list. So we can just yeah. Gonna make an inquiry. Yeah. And we're just going to come back to that hopefully in the next video. So we're going to carry on to our inbox here. And we're going to play our match. Again, just checking out the team. Obviously, we know what we've got here. It tells us what, you know, what's good about this team already. But what we feel, or what the director of football and assistant manager in this case believe we could improve on with this team. So obviously, not a great depth in the first team players. That's something we can definitely work on. They've also got a lack of depth in the centre-backs and attacking quality in the midfield and obviously the budget. So they just want to see what we can work on with this. Injury update. Obviously no injuries as we can see. Player development. We've got absolutely nothing worth talking about there. So let's try and carry on and play for the match. Um, squad dynamics. We'll introduce ourselves to the squad really quick. Uh, I'm going to be passionate. I want to take my time to introduce myself to the team. Uh, team agrees with me. I don't really like these um, conversation options that you have in the game. I just don't. It's so difficult to understand because you say it gives you the options of what you should say. You click on them, you do what they ask of you, and then they just come back and you like, well, I'm still confused. Do you want me to be? Do you want me to be energetic? Do you want me to be a little bit lazy? It's like, well, I'm just following my chances. Um, 
the game, we're going to go with Pashna. I strongly believe there's enough ability in the squad. Obviously, you're not going to get far understanding the quality in the squad. We need to be more amb ambistic. Oh, optimistic. Yep. Obviously, we're going to try and do that. Obviously, nothing nothing to say from Borja Maston and some of the other players here. Um, yeah, we're just going to go with that. Yeah. All right. Just basically just skip through that so we can get through to the match as quick as possible. Oh, got another message. Don't really care. Uh, this would be going to have to go in and out of training. Just go over it. I don't even know. <laughs> this is what this is gonna be a really interesting series because it's just me not having a clue what to do here and just basically going on to the matches and just trying to carry on as possible. So yeah, we're just gonna carry on, try and get to the match. We've had a friendly proposal accepted by Red Star. Um don't know if that's Red Star Belgrave, who knows? Just go back to our scouting. Still nothing there. Carry on to the match. Fair play regulations. We've got to meet with the man meet with the media. We'll do that now. Hi Benjamin, what are your initial thoughts on taking the Aston Villa job? I'm gonna to go to Pashna. I'm very excited. You stand here today as the new Aston Villa manager as a big fan. Sure is dream come true. I have dreamt this moment of years. Many many of people would think Aston Villa wage budget is too small for you to bring in the high quality players need to improve the team. Are you going to approach your chairman and ask him to increase the wage budget? Um, it is a concern, obviously. It's not a lot to put with 10 million. But um, I don't want to discuss the wages right now. You're taking steps into mentoring at just 26 years old. Obviously, just saying that we may be a bit... Um, I might be a bit unprepared. But I'm just going to say... Well, you know, you're just going to have to wait and see. Um, ambition's fantastic. You hail from relatively close by, does that help at all getting the fans on the side of your appointment? It can only help, I think it gives me a bit of a better chance. Aston Villa clearly have lofty ambitions and hiring you is said to be the latest step in meeting them. Am I the right person to deliver on this promise? Especially in the short term, I'm confident in my skills. Um, does the squad have the necessary to achieve your targets? What this came out there. Have you met the players in so as a fresh start? Rock hard fans. How far can you take this club? Gonna aim high. What do you expect from the players? I want everyone to work hard. We'd be looking forward to towards the live players. Yeah. Mm. There we go. Just really gonna try and skip through these now. Just making sure that we are not um you know taking forever. So as you can see here we've got the match preview. Sorry about this guys. Just try not to lose charge. There we go. Well hopefully that'll work now. Uh, yep, so as you can see, we've got the friendly here. Uh, we're just going to carry on. No. Sorry about that, guys. Bit of a technical glitch there. We're just going to go back on to the uh, match preview here. So we're obviously going to go through with this. Look, we've got the kits here. We've got the kits. We've got the badges. That's nice. That's nice. Team selection. Obviously, we're going to carry on with this. Trezegate is still on holiday. So unfortunately, we cannot use him so we are gonna have to choose another player to use <sighs> not a lot of choice here oh god <laughs> yo yeah, choose henry landsbury he's still somebody to play with yep so we're gonna no what do you mean i don't need him oh, clear that position man. submit team yep You've only selected so, so, so yeah. You've only selected so and so to choose our possible twelve to see the match. Yes. Right, so the team is warming up now. We're gonna get through with this match. We're gonna play through this and then we're gonna probably just cut it there. So we keep it as short as possible this video. So we just wait for this to warm up. Here we go. Obviously, they're gonna be playing a much worse team. We could we are gonna be utilizing some of the youngsters later on in the season, so yeah, hopefully we'll see the likes of Davis, Vasilev, Clark, you know, Sarkic, but we're hopefully going to be seeing them put into our team. We're going to go into the dressing room now. We're going to try and give them a pep talk. We're going to encourage them. Uh, yeah, we're going to give them that. 
players have no particular reaction to these comments. Um, just going to end the team talk. No, we're going to hand it over to our assistant. I'm just going to end the team talk. Then we're going to kick off the match. So as you can see, the players, we've got the players walking out now. In a massively filled Villa Park. And here we go. Match starting. The under-23s kick off the match. Gaining possession, trying to pass a long ball. But the Aston Villa home side gained the possession back. Let me just see if I can make this a bit quicker. Try and make it a bit faster for you guys. So we don't have to wait here forever. The Alpha Room, we're in 10 minutes now. We should encourage our players to try and play a short passing game. But Aston Villa have a free kick here. And I believe we've got a penalty. Yep, we got a penalty. Could we want to? Wesley runs, he scores. It's 1 0 to Aston Villa. Wesley with the penalty. Straight down the middle, as we can see from the replay here. Lovely. That's 1 0 to Aston Villa. I'm just going to go back into the same thing, just slow it down a little bit. Yep, so we're on 20 minutes here. We've got another free kick just on the edge of the box. Sarkic with the save, straight down the middle. Uh, Villa come back here with the ball, pass to El Ghazi, to Gilbert, He's running on the right. To Douglas Louise, to Mings. Switching the play up, bringing out to Shotter. Running through. And we've got, we've got another penalty. Foul on Jota. Wesley will be stepping up again. Can he be making it 2 0 here? Ooh. It's a goal. It's another one. Straight down the middle. More power this time. Wesley with the second goal. Making it 2 0 to Aston Villa. We're just going to go over the replay here. Oh, could have got a hand to it. I think he did get a hand to it. Oh, we can't change the camera now. I'm just going to carry on with the match here at 25. Well, 30 minutes as we go on here. But as you can see, Aston Villa are dominating possession. Literally, the away side here have had nothing to talk about. Haven't done much here. Much, oh, we've got a free kick. It's headed in. Oh, it just goes over the crossbar. As you can see, we've got a bit of players that are complacent and uninterested. So we're going to go into this half time here and try and get them interested again. Agrees with the corner in. El Ghazi clips it. Similar to Darbe. We've got El Ghazi with the volley there, making it 3 0 into the top left corner. Let's just have a replay of this. Brilliant corner in. No marking at all. Bouncing it off. He gets a touch and volleys it in. Top left corner. That's 3 0 to Aston Villa here. We're doing pretty well for our debut. As we can see, we've got the under 23s here trying to play a bit. Getting a bit of momentum into the box here. Just passing it around, trying to create something here to work on. Aston Villa shutting us down. And, yeah, we get the ball back. Jota with an interception. Ball just carries on, but it goes back to the under 23 team here. They have a shot, but Hita makes a great save, preventing that going in. They have a corner here. And it just goes out, clears it, begins on the counter attack. Carrying a run, but that is going to be half time. So we go into it 3 0. Wesley with two penalties, and El Ghazi in the 44th minute with a volley from a corner. So we're going to the dressing room now. We're going to try and give them. Uh, I know he said, John Terry's just said there to just send them out, just keep them going. But a lot of uninteresting, complacent body language being shown here. So I'm going to try and. Make sure, I'm just going to say, don't get complacent. Players reacting well to the comments begins a little bit stressed there, but we're just going to carry on and go into the second half. So Aston Villa kick off again. Just passing it around the back now, trying to just move up, trying to start the pace of the game again. El Gardi has been fouled. It's 17 seconds into the second half here. We have a free kick from the right. Clearly nothing comes of it. As we go on to the under-23 team here on the right. Trying to pass it around. Some little triangles being formed. A through ball goes through to Tawain right. Oh, it's a brilliant save from Tom Eaton there. Denying under-23 is the second chance of scoring. They've got a corner in now. Another save by Tom Eaton. And yeah, Villa just clear it out, I guess. We're on 50 minutes now. Villa still dominating possession. Villa 13 fouls to Villa's 2 uh, just waiting here for another highlight. We'll look at the focus of attack here. As we can see, Aston Villa's 42, 17, 41. To the under 23s, 29, 24, 47. 
on the 70th minute now nothing's happening again i think we can bring on a sub if possible oh no got a free kick we'll just see what this happens here nothing comes back to Grealish, passes it into Engels. Jota gets it oh brilliant save from Sarkic there to, to deny him I'm gonna make a sub i'm gonna bring on um We'll bring on Conor Horahan for Douglas Louise. We'll bring on Henry Lansbury for Jota Mc... No, John McGinn. <laughs> Not Jota McGinn. And we'll try and bring on... Uh... No, we won't bring on Neil Taylor. We'll, say... we'll just make those two subs. So subs on. We've got the corner. Grish is going to swing it in. Wesley with it. But great save by Saki. Check to deny him a hat trick. Uh, just carrying on with the game here, as we can see. Nothing much here to report on. A few shots going off target from Henry Lansby. Tyre Minks is looking exhausted. We'll make a sub. We'll make a quick sub. Who can we bring on? We'll bring on House for him then. We'll make that our final sub of the match. We've got the under 23 is just passing it around. Just trying to, you know, just create something. Try and get a footing back into this game. But Aston Villa gained possession again. Trying to go on the counter. A very slow counter attack, shall we say. Uh, but a long ball there to Wesley, to Grealish. Grealish holds up the ball. Through ball to El Ghazi. Holds it, passes it to Gilbert. First time cross. Wesley, oh, good save from Ciel. Oh, for Sarkic. Oh, no, Sarkic has been subbed off, so Searle is on. We're approaching now the extra time. We've got two added minutes here. Villa with the throw in. Passing it to Drinkwater. Through ball to Wesley. Free to run the left. Passes it back to Schotter. Pass to drink water. Switching the play over to El Ghazi on the right side. Cross in, but no one's there to meet him. And Aston. Oh, no. We get the ball back. We continue to hold possession of the ball here. Uh, shot on the left now. Could it be crossing in? Passing it into Green as he shoots. But still with the save. And cleared out by Biston or Bonson, whoever that was there. And I think this is going to be the final action of the game. Over for throw in. To drink more to target again, and that's going to be it. That wraps up. Oh no, it doesn't. It's a free kick. It's a free kick. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, this is probably now going to be the last moment of the game. Obviously, under 23 is it just passed it around the back, and that's it. It is full time. It ends Aston Villa 3. Aston Villa's under 23 is nil. Go to the dressing room now. I can't think of anything to take that players need. So, we're just going to say, passionate tip. I'm very pleased with the result and your performance. Yep. Positive result. I'm going to end the team talk there. We're going to continue on. Uh, yeah, obviously that's the result. We've got the media here. Just go through the press conference. Obviously, it says what we said. This was for the start of the game. We've got what's happened in the match. Aston Villa's possession dominates 6 3 to 37, 14 to 3 shots, and the man of the match was Anwar El Ghazi with an 8.4. And obviously, we have the news report. All right, so we're going to go to the home now. And I think we're going to wrap it up there. This is the first video. We played our match. And hopefully when we come back, we're going to go into some more matches. Obviously, we've got Red Star on the 29th of June. We're going to hopefully get some transfers. Hopefully bring in Ben Rama and try and change up the team. But that's going to do it there, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave in the comments if you did enjoy this video and you want to see this series continue or you want to see just more Football Manager videos in general, but not Aston Villa. Just leave what you want. Thank you for watching. Give a like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Up the villa with the pride of villa. See you later, guys.